Most Stylish Glam Star Award, Star in the Spotlight, Hot and Techie Performer of the Year, Sensational Superstar, Most Stylish Game Changer Award, Most Stylish Risk Taker. All these are names of awards presented over the past two months to Bollywood artists. My favorite has to be the Hot and Techie Performer of the Year given to Ananya Pate. I'm assuming the techie is a reference to her latest film, Kho Gai Hum Kaha, which depicts the angst and alienation of a generation living online. I think there should be an award given to the person whose job it is to come up with these categories. They become more inventive each year. Between February and March, so many awards are doled out for Hindi cinema that pretty much every contemporary star has had at least one opportunity to hold up a statuette and thank their family. Artists feel validated, sponsors are happy, viewers are given something to watch, social media is fed trending images and moments. It's a well-oiled machine that has run for years. It's time for a disclaimer. I am chairperson of the Film Critics Guild, which curates the Critics' Choice Awards. But each year, as these ceremonies roll past, I wonder, can't Hindi cinema, one of the world's most celebrated and powerful film industries, do better? The fault to contradict Shakespeare's famous line from Julius Caesar is in our stars. Award shows, including the Oscars, are at heart TV broadcasts. A critical component is ensuring that stars show up. Last year, nominees James Cameron and Tom Cruise skipped the ceremony, but the Oscars are largely so revered that even being invited to present is seen as an honor. Remember Tipika Padukone, resplendent in black, introducing the Natu Natu performance in 2023? At this year's Oscars, five previous winners of the Best Actor and Best Actress awards presented. As each one talked about the current year's nominees, it made for this beautifully orchestrated moment of artists applauding artists. This is almost unimaginable in our industry because stars will not show up unless they're guaranteed a win. Getting an A-lister to present is even harder. At the Critics' Choice Awards, we curate the presenters as meticulously as the winners. National award-winning cinematographer Sudeep Chatterjee presented the award for cinematography to Avinash Arun for three of us. The fiercely talented and much awarded Vidya Balan handed out the Best Actor and Best Actress awards to Vikrant Masi for 12th Fail and Shafali Shah for three of us. And Anil Kapoor generously showed up to present the Best Picture award to my husband Vidhu Vinod Chopra for 12th Fail. For the record, I did not vote in the feature film categories this year. Now, I use the word generously for Anil because that's what it takes to come to a ceremony where you aren't even nominated. In the run-up to the awards, we were routinely asked by publicists if their talent, and I quote, could win a prize. They asked because that is what routinely happens, even if a category has to be invented so that they can win. One leading male actor expressed disappointment at how transactional awards have become and he promised me that he would attend in support of Critics' Choice. Eventually, he didn't show up. This is a struggle that organizers can't win alone. The industry will have to raise the bar for themselves. Perhaps they can take inspiration from the Oscars, which turned 100 in 2028, and they remain a platform of enduring credibility.